are watching K8 News Midday with Diana Davis and meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. So much food is needed right now for families struggling to make ends meet. That's why this event is so important. Fill the Food Bank happens tomorrow at the Kroger Marketplace and satellite locations throughout Region A. Joining us now is Harper Martin, Food Sourcing Coordinator for the Food Bank of Northeast Arkansas. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, Tomorrow, things get started bright and early. It will be a big day. We are going to be there at 6 a.m. until 6.30 that afternoon. So it's going to be a long day, but it is always yeah. so rewarding to see the community come through. Oh, absolutely. You know, we'll be set up there at the Kroger parking lot, and the amount of people that come through to support is just so exciting. Now, what kinds of things are you needing? What are you running low on so that that way when we head out tomorrow, I know that they can bring monetary donations, but let's talk about food th items. Yeah, so as far as food donations, uh, we really appreciate any canned items that can be vegetable soup, fruits, uh, crushable items, cereal, rice, you know, anything along that lines, as long as it's within the expiration date and it is non-perishable. And we've talked about, you know, you're trying to make it easy for everyone and we're on the go a lot. Can uh, you text in a donation? Yes, you can text NEA Food to 44321. Uh, you can also donate on our website. You can call the food bank. Our phone number is 870-932-3663. And do you have a goal this year, a target that you're trying to meet based on, yeah. I mean, we see a lot of need in the community. Right. Our goal is to provide 350,000 meals. And so that hasn't changed throughout the past few years. And that's because that goal is still there and the amount of people that we need to feed is still there. However, it is harder for us to reach that goal with inflation. You know, a dollar yeah. used to provide four meals. Now it provides 3.5 meals. And so these satellite locations are very important. How do they work? And can you give us a yeah. little rundown on so that? So our satellite sites, we have 10 locations this year. They are going from 7.30 that morning to 6.30 that afternoon. And so they will be there. You can donate directly to them. You can, we have that information on our website as well if you want to donate online to them or you can go in person. And so those locations, that is the Edwards Food Giant in Harrisburg, the Harps and Piggott, the Walnut Ridge Walmart, and then the Walmart Super Centers in Perigold, Newport, Osceola, Truman, Pocahontas, Wynn, and Forest City. Wow, so so many communities right. affected by food insecurity. I mean, Absolutely. many of us think, oh, you know, we're not worried about where our next meal will come from, but that's not the case for everyone. Here in Absolutely, our it is not. In Northeast Arkansas, we have over 62,000 people who do not know where their next meal is going to come from, and of that, over 20,000 are children. Uh, that is just shocking. It is. And so it's timed right now, fill the food bank, because we're going into the holidays. Right. And that's going to be a time when they're not going to get a school lunch. And so this is important. Oh, absolutely. All right, so make sure you take part tomorrow. We're going to be out and about KAIT, of course, in the Jonesboro Radio Group, proud sponsors to help in this effort. Harper, thank you so much for joining us today, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And of course, we're hoping for good weather, Aaron. What can you deliver? Well, it's 